How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm gonna be upgrading my throttle body on my Type S, which as you can see is right here. I already had the cover off. It's just held on by a couple of grommets. You literally just pull up straight on it. Here's another one right here. I think it's four or five total. Um, so we just pull up on it right here and pop it up and that's it. Um, yours probably has a stock hose right here. So I believe you will have uh, to remove a 10 millimeter clamp right here and one down there as you know mine's been upgraded so i have this uh, aluminum inlet i got a couple t-ball clamps so i'm gonna get those out of the way um i'm gonna compare the stock throttle body to the power air racing one or the ptr one um and uh, you know size comparison and stuff like that it is an oem throttle body bored out I believe it's a 72 mil compared to a 68 or 69 stock. We're going to find out. As you know, previously, um, I have upgraded my downpipe right there. The car has a one 1308 at 105.75 miles an hour or so. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace the throttle body. As always, I'm going to drag it afterwards and uh, hopefully uh we picked up uh some some speed and some uh and lowered our et a little bit but anyways let's go ahead and get to work i'm gonna go ahead and start removing the inlet and then once we get to the throttle body i'll uh get back to the channel all right so inlet is out guys now you got four bolts holding the throttle body and these are 412s uh quick note these are uh uh, coolant passages that go in and out the throttle body. I have bypassed that already previously. So initially this hose right here went to here and then another hose came out of here and back into here. So I eliminated that to try to avoid as much heat going into the throttle body as possible. Um, these cars do not like heat at all. And uh, especially if you uh, live in a, in a warmer state or something like that down south um i would definitely suggest doing that it's not uh you know super uh important or anything like that but i will definitely do it i do it all my cars uh there's no reason to have coolant running through that so i'm gonna go ahead now and start removing a throttle body and then we're gonna compare the stock versus the the p2r one all right guys go ahead and start removing this Also, real quick while we're doing this, if you do uh, happen to do the pipe pass like I did, make sure you guys bleed your coolant uh, system afterwards. Um, you want to make sure there's no air pockets stuck in there uh, to cause an overheating condition or anything like that. So these are the bolts right here. Also, you got the connector over here. You're going to want to remove this connector before um, loosening the throttle body so you get a nice good pull on it without the throttle body flapping around everywhere. gets in the way a little bit. All right, guys, and just like that, the throttle body is out. Note, the gasket over here, uh, I'm not going to be changing it uh, because the car's got a thousand, like 1,400 miles or so. So I don't think there's a need to change it um, at this moment. But we're going to go ahead and measure this opening and we're going to see how big it is and uh, see what the max bore is that we can make this. So we're going to go ahead and measure this right now. And we have a max opening of 72.2 millimeters or so. So 72 and a half, we'll call it. 
take a look in there. I mean, I, in theory, we could open it more, um, but we would have to come up with a different gasket solution. This is, uh, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, sometime down the road or whatnot, but I wanted to get that, that reading. All right, guys, so here we have it. This is the stock throttle body. As you can see, it has some sort of a taper here. And then this one is straight all the way through. And essentially, this is a OEM Honda core uh, that they bore out. And then uh, you sent them yours back and uh, they gave you some money back. And they bore this one out and sell it to the next person and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and take some measurements right now and uh, see what we have here. Uh, 71.1. I'll close this back up. Back to zero. And 72. So you're looking at one millimeter bore at the opening, but I know the butterfly is definitely bigger. Like I said, it um, reduces at that taper right over there, maybe a millimeter or two. I believe it goes from a 69 to a 72 from uh, what I was told. We're gonna go ahead and measure the back here. This is a stock one. We're zeroed out. We are at, look at that, 69 right over here. So tapered from a 71 or so to a 69. Put this one around. We're zeroed out. All right, let's see what we got. 72. So definitely um, an improvement and it should fit right in perfectly. Should have interfered with the manifold. Remember the manifold, we had a max opening about 72 or so as well. So, all right guys, we're gonna go ahead and put it on. We're gonna torque the bolts and everything, get everything back together and uh, we'll do some testing. All right guys, so throttle body is on snugly, so we're gonna go ahead now and uh, torque it to spec, which is uh, 16 foot pounds. And uh, we use a torque wrench for that, obviously. If you don't have one, um, you can just make it tight by hand. Don't go crazy. Obviously I have access to a torque wrench, so I'm gonna go ahead and torque it. Um, not absolutely necessary, but if you could, why not? And you're gonna torque these to uh, 16 foot pounds. And again, once again. At this time, you're gonna connect the throttle body and you're gonna connect your two cooling hoses if you didn't bypass it. If you did at this step, um, obviously you're just gonna loop them right over here and you're gonna bleed the cooling system. Since I was done with that already, I'm not gonna do that step. All right, guys, so you have it. Everything installed back on. This is nice and firm. Um, let's make sure if you uh, did uh, do the, you know, if you either, if you did the coolant bypass or you're replacing the throttle body and you're putting the coolant hoses back on, definitely want to bleed the coolant system, check for coolant leaks, et cetera, et cetera. I don't foresee you guys uh, have any other issues besides that. But um, for the next couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and drive a, my tools in the car and a spare uh, throttle body in there just make sure everything is okay and uh, make sure there's no uh, mechanical failures or anything like that so with that being said guys we're gonna go ahead and uh test this bad boy and uh see uh, how much we improved if any
right, so there you have it, guys. So the time has improved. Uh, I made two passes. One went 13.04 at 106, and the other one 13.02 at 107 and a half miles an hour. So, so uh, as far as the lowering ET didn't really help much, but it did pick up uh, about a mile and a half. Um, at the at the top end so that is an improvement that is encouragement and hard to say if the throttle body actually made a difference or not but it definitely did not hurt it so i'm not going to be removing it. i'm going to be uh leaving it installed and uh it definitely feels a little bit better top end but without a dyno obviously it's uh super hard to tell but i made several passes uh when i just installed the downpipe and the mile an hour is pretty consistent about 105 and a half 105 and now with the throttle body, I made three passes. The total, the, the best two being 106 and 107 trap. So, uh, and the third one was also 106, a low 106 trap. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, definitely uh, helped top end. DA on those passes was very similar to the first uh, first couple passes with just a downpipe. Um, so I don't think that was much of a factor. It was a little bit lower um, and the ambient temperatures were about 10, 10 degrees to 12 degrees cooler. So. So that, that could have contributed, but uh, anyways, like I said, uh, it's definitely trapping a little bit higher, so I'm happy about that. And uh, it's real close to the 12s, and I'm gonna get it there sooner rather than later. Um, like I said, if you guys wanna purchase one, uh, visit uh, Power Red Racing or the P2R uh, website, um, and they'll have them there for you a couple days, probably a week to get it to you. And, um, and then you send yours and you get some money back. But uh, stay tuned, guys. I have uh, my next uh, mod already uh, set up and on the way. Should be here within a week or so. And then I'm gonna be installing that and uh, bring you guys some uh, new content. As always guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure you stay tuned for more content.